Hey everyone, so today it's time for Try the World! And I think this one is Spain, which I feel like I say this for every country, but I really want to go to Spain. I just want to go to every country. Like, uh, like, is that so much to ask? Actually, yeah, it is. It's, it's probably impossible. Yeah, Spain! España. So here's the culture guide. It is... Beautiful. Tapas, recipes. My stomach just growled. I hope you heard that. There's like a card game. Siete y media. Seven and a half, I guess. So let's see what's in it. Okay, so the first thing is Pe Listo, floral jams. These delicate preserves are made using artisanal production techniques with the ingredients grown on the company's family farm in southeastern Spain. They are delicious with toast and served with cheese or tea. Look how cute this packaging is. It looks like somebody's grandma made it. I love it. Rose petals jam. If you watch the vlogs on Still Soundly Awake, you know that a rose is one of my favorite flavors ever. I literally just had rose bubble tea last night and now this comes. I Grateful. Oh my god, I can't wait to eat this. Susie um, Mac NC40 does not like rose things, so I'm gonna make her eat this and not tell her what it is first. The next thing is el avion, paprika. Paprika is a primary ingredient in many of Spain's best known dishes, included, included, including vegetable or seafood paella and patatas bravas. See your culture guide for recipe. El avion makes this one packaged in collectible vintage. Vintage, why can't I? I? I know the answer to that, speak. With ripe peppers to maintain the spices, bright color and flavor. Here we go, I recognize a paprika tin when I see one. This is so adorable, look at that. Look at it with your eye balls. Pimenton dulce, sweet paprika? But it says mild paprika as the translation, so. No say. Next is Oleum Hispania Extra Virgin Olive Oil. Located, no, say que Oleum is. Located in, well, I mean, I guess it's olive oil, but I didn't think that, I, think, I thought it was a different word. A region that is internationally recognized for producing high quality olive oil, Oleum Hispania, Hispania. Hispania, Arvis, Arvists. Do you see what happened there? Ripe olives grown in high altitude orchards before grinding them at cold temperatures just hours after harvest. I mean, hours after harvest. Okay, so let's see. Olive oil, is this? Yes! And do you see how it has like kind of like a, a greenish thing? I heard, um, I mean, my boyfriend happens to be a chef that the greenish is good in olive oil. Like you want it to look greenish. If it looks like super pale, clear, yellow, then apparently that's not good. So we'll carry on. So anyway, this this is good, obviously. Next. Next is Ines Rosales, cortadillo citrus crumble cakes. A cortadillo is a traditional Spanish patri patri patriot, it's a, Loves its country. Pastry flavored with cinnamon and lemon and filled with cider cream. These crumble cakes continue to be made by hand according to a recipe that was developed over 100 years ago. Um, this sounds delicious to me. Here it is. Um, I wanna eat this right now, pero I'm gonna wait for Ken to get home from work later because he will Matarme if I don't share these with him. Next is Espinaler Canned White Tuna, a family company de 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 dedicated to the quality of their products. Espinaler obtains Bonito del Norte, or white tuna, from tropical and subtropical waters around the world. It's delicious over crostini, tossed in a salad, or mixed into warm rice dishes. And then it's right here. I, f I think this is like the second or third time tuna has come in a Try the World box. I don't remember. Am I mixing it up with something else? I might be. Oh no, Morocco. I think 
There was tuna in the mar No, there were sardines. Those are very different. I love tuna. Ken actually just made um, a Filipino recipe with tuna that hopefully he will make for Rule of Yum. If you're not subscribed to Rule of Yum, check it out, please there's food. If you like food, if you eat food in your daily life, you need it. Hopefully he'll make the recipe for rule of yum. Okay, next. El Navarrico. Salsa tumaja con ajo. I know ajo is garlic. Salsa something sauce with garlic. El Navarrico. Donde esta el Navarrico? Did I eat it already? I'm dumb. It's right here. It's the first jar that I thought was the jam, but it's not. So here it is, tumaca fresh tomato spread. My toast is gonna to be dressed so deliciously in the coming weeks. Okay, and then the last thing is el amendro, turon. It says since 1883, el amendro has been producing turon, a popular holiday candy with raw ingredients and traditional craftsmanship. This one made with crushed almonds is crunchy and slightly sweet, a perfect pairing for coffee or tea. And that's right here. El amendro. Con naranja. I love orange flavored things. This looks to me like nougat. It just got really awkwardly lit up in here. Well, that's fine. Why do I, why does this stop it? Okay, so clearly I can't film videos at 10 a.m. because the lighting is not favorable. But anyway, it looks like nougat. It might be. Again, I'm gonna wait until Ken gets home so I can try these things. But that's it. Check the link out in the description box if you wanna find out more about Try the World or if you wanna try the world yourself. Every box I've gotten so far, there's been multiple things that I love. And it's just cool to experience different things from around the world that you wouldn't normally experience. So check them out. And I will see you in a few days with a new video. And then a few days after that, there'll be another new one. So. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye.